morning, y'all. Guess what we're fixing to go do, boys? Hold on, I don't know how fast I'm going. All right, that's reasonable. That is reasonable and prudent right there. They're coming over in my lane. So yeah, we are on an adventure this morning. And where we're going this morning is we're gonna go to the tent shop. take that back it depends on what type of car you drive if you drive a car that is equally as fast or faster than theirs and it stands out and I'm talking about like stands out you guys think every car I've ever had it is highly recognizable as oh there goes Malik and I've got to stop doing that I got to stop buying cars that are highly recognizable that way I can have my windows stand have a I want to I've also got to stop personalizing my tags but I can't help it, that's just me. You know, that is literally me, and I have to stop being me. I'm on the bypass, and it looked like a cop. So you gotta slow down a little bit, you know? But anyway, um, I feel like when I'm at, cause I got a lot of friends that got tent that is equally as dark as mine, 5% all the way around, tinted front windshield, and they don't get bothered by, you know why? Because they drive normal cars, they drive like, Genesis and Nissan Maximas and stuff like that which they aren't really normal cars but they they kind of are um Infinity Q50s and stuff like that but when you drive something like this or EcoBoost Mustang that whoosh, 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 or a Fusion that still was going whoosh, 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 and my Fusion was doing it too I had put a wall out on it and a tune and then I put those red stickers on all four doors. That's just highly recognized. And then I had a person last time. That's highly recognizable. And that car didn't even have 5% tint. Like, it was just below 35%. So, um, yeah. Yeah, that's about it. The reason my windows are tinted this dark is I had people literally approaching me. Approaching me. In this car. Not knowing if I was in the car or not. That is why my windows are 10 to 5%. It wasn't to be rebellious. It's because it protects me. Because when you're driving a car like this, you have a lot of people that can't stand it. And that is the God on the street. They can't stand it. So they want to walk up and see what it's about. They want to walk up and try to talk. They want to walk up and talk smart mouth and stuff. I don't have time for that, bro. I don't have time for it. I don't like conversation. I don't like conversation. If it ain't about money, I don't like conversation. Stop talking to me. You know what I'm saying? I've had people approaching me at my house. I've had people follow me to my house. Like, if you think I'm joking, I got so many videos of people that have been put up to follow me to my house. And I know they were put up to do it because nobody follows somebody to their house. Nobody. I don't know. I've never followed anybody to their house. I'm not crazy stupid like that. Um, but I've had people literally follow me to my house. These are the same people that I'm not even friends with on Facebook that have messaged me on Facebook. And I know that they have something to do with certain things that have been going on because I'm not stupid. That's why my windows are tinted that dark. But, oh my God, the police have been reported ahead. Wee -wee. I love it when it goes, yeah, woo, it does that little, it gets, it gets a little deep, it gets a little deep, it makes you think it's not a V6 for a little second, and then, I'm going to tell you what also makes you think this thing ain't a V6, if you go around a curve and you floor it, it twitches the back end, like that, it goes like, <laughs> I love it. Boy, if this was a 5.7, I would have been like under the jail by now. I, I'm talking about 
donuts, burnouts, freaking would have had a super loud exhaust on it. You wouldn't have no choice but to turn your neck when you saw me because it would have, that's all you would have heard. It was that 5.7 liter overhead valve. <laughs> Uh, see, the tent shop is very secluded. Like, it's very hidden. And this is actually the third car I've had tent. Ouch. I am eight minutes late for my tent appointment, bro. But it's okay. I wonder if I'll be in trouble. Mm -hmm. It'll probably be somebody else in front of me by the time I get here. Put the brake on. Last little videos of my tent, bro. I don't want to take it off. I don't want to take it off. I had to get my last few pictures with it, man. And I got a tent here, too. Oh, yeah, I took it off. But you know what sucks? People can look at me now! I don't like this. freaking do it but oh my gosh i did it i did it. i took the tent off i took it off oh my gosh oh my goodness you better put this in the newspaper you better put this in a filing cabinet <laughs> and then i get there they can't help but to ask me questions how's that car holding up i'll tell you how it's holding up i'll tell you how it's holding up i don't even care how it's holding up i don't have tent on it no more so it doesn't matter <laughs> i don't even want this thing no more <laughs> 